efficiency. That plays well with the corporate effort to improve emissions and gives the brand a chance to slap a pure drive label on the Versa. In a week of urban driving, we found the car delivered nearly 33 miles to the gallon under a variety of conditions. At the same time, it was comfortable enough not to be objectionable, considering the price point. There is a 5-speed manual available, but only at the entry level. Beyond that, the CVT gearbox is standard in the rest of the lineup. The interior space feels bigger than the car looks, not only in the front seat, but also in the back where there's more than adequate headroom. It should be noted that this car is designed to be basic transportation for as many as four adults. The standard audio system can be upgraded to accept an iPod or USB music source, but the rest of the layout is pretty utilitarian. We were disturbed to learn that Bluetooth connectivity is not standard across the model. That is surprising considering a lot of potential buyers are more attached to a mobile device than the driving experience. Overall, the reworked Versa is an improvement over the car it replaces. Ironically, it offers a lot of features that attracted buyers to its big brother, the Sentra, for a lower price. This is Greg Morris. We want to know what you think, so email us. The address is bumper to bumper TV at cs.com.